Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video I have this uh, Mercedes B-Class B180 diesel. Um, this is a 2016 the W246 chassis. Um, I'm gonna be changing the oil and the oil filter as well as the air filter. Now um, I'm waiting for my parts to arrive but um, we'll have a look at the remove the air filter and i will show you the part number of that one so you can change it um you can order and change it and also um, the oil and the oil filter um the oil filter in this car is sitting just there um and um so and the oil I'm going to be using is 5W30 as well. Now this particular model, if you look at the um, your manual, it shows you here, so this is the B180D, the 246. Um, it takes 4.5 liters of oil, as shown in there. Obviously if you have a different B-class, different quantities so those other ones are the petrol ones and whatnot and also if you look at this side it shows you the uh, the mercedes approved oil that you can use so you can search those numbers online to give you the oil types but uh, i'm gonna be using uh, 5w30 as i mentioned as the temperatures here in the uk are not too drastic so um, you can see here in this chart 5w30 just there even 5w40 or 5w50 are all in the same range there uh, covering temperatures between uh, uh, this area here minus 15 to around plus 30 which is pretty much what we get here um, if you have uh, extreme hot temperatures, uh, then you want to go with a uh, different, maybe slightly thicker oil. If you have really cold freezing temperatures, maybe you want to go with the 0W30 here, which covers up to minus 25. Um, so anyway, um, so that is what I'm going to use. And as we establish, 4.5 liters and... It says they're including the oil filter. So, okay, so I'm just gonna start with the air filter there. Um, using a T20 Torx, I removed these two, I undone these two screws all the way up to there. Just keep them up there. And you can then lift this cover up, lift it and um, sort of bring it towards you and uh, you'll be able to lift it up a little bit because um, you need to bring it towards you a little bit because it's just hooked into the back here so you have two bits in the back there which go in there so bring it a little bit forwards then you're able to lift this up and then you can remove your filter so I'm gonna be changing this filter it's not too drastic but it's getting bit dirty there and this is a Hengst E1061L not sure what my supplier will bring but uh, that's the one in there and you can get one of those um, also if you find that this area is really dirty you can just hoover it up or or blow it uh, give it a clean before you fit your new filter so I'm waiting for my new filter so it'll be just a matter of getting this back down making sure those two bits at the back those little flaps go into that those holes and because you will need to make sure that this can close here so at the moment it's not closing because that is not aligned properly so you'll be playing around a little bit with this but uh, should be able to get it in position eventually like so so like i said I'm waiting for mine so I won't close it yet also when you close this just be careful 
they're only screwing into plastic so if you overdone it if you if you over tighten this you will damage the plastic there which will be very good um, so next we can concentrate on our oil and oil filter so I am going to just take this cover out to make my life a little bit easier this cover just literally pops out there can put it a little bit out of the way out there and because uh, the filter is there as we establish and we want to open this as well now in this model this holds the dipstick as well so that's where my dipstick is you can see my oil in there it's quite dirty and thick and it was quite low so i'm gonna leave that open and uh, we're also going to um open the filter okay so to remove that filter um, you're gonna need one of these it looks like this and this particular one it's a size is a 76 12 but it's a uh, slightly different in shape but that fits the filter down there quite quite well and also it is, it is a little bit of an awkward position um, so if you have one of these rackets they're really useful they expand well they you can make them longer and also the head so sort of can move a little bit so it sort of helps to get the angles these are quite essential really when you are doing cars all the time so hopefully that's not going to be too tight and also um, because it's at an angle we may actually get some oil dripping out of there um, hopefully not I haven't actually done one of these before to be fair so I'm not sure what's going to happen um, we'll find out And if I make a mess, then you can learn from my mess and try to avoid making a mess. Which means um, you may need to remove the cover underneath. Um, but anyway, we'll see. I'm going to put a bit of paper just below that filter area there in case there is a slight leak. Maybe catch it on the paper. But if we open it slowly, maybe we give a chance of that for that oil, because normally there is oil in the filter, so we just want to give it a chance to drain itself once it gets some air into the system. And also I should just uh, mention that I did, um, I warmed up the car a little bit before uh, doing this just to make uh, the draining of the oil a little bit easier. So I didn't warm it up for a long time but about 10 or 15 minutes really, that's all I did.
Okay, so I don't really know if there's any oil leaking there or not. Oh, actually, yes, there is a bit of oil coming out of the side. So that oil will drip down onto the the tray underneath, um, which we can clean it anyway. But uh, this is why I was putting a bit of paper there to try and avoid making a mess but uh, I don't think I'll be able to avoid the mess now <laughs> so anyway I guess if you open this a bit slower and let it drain for a little while then then it should be okay okay so let's finish removing this Filter. So you can see it's stripped from the side onto my paper there, but I'm sure some of it is stripped down onto the tray below, which means I'm gonna have to clean that a little bit. But there you are. Maybe you can put a lot a bit more paper around it, um, or even remove the tray below before you start in order to avoid some oil going, going onto the tray okay so now I'm just going to clean the surface where the filter sits a little bit okay. um, because we're gonna fit our new filter on there so just making sure the area of there it's somewhat clean. Nothing too crazy, we just want to make sure that there's nothing, uh, no oil, burnt oil or anything on the surroundings to avoid any leaks. Um, so now I'm gonna get the car up and uh, we're gonna drain the oil and um, and then we can clean the tray as well <laughs> and just before I get the car up this is the oil filter I've got delivered just now angst H14W42 so that's the one there So let's get the car up now. So I've got the car up. Now um, the oil that dripped from that filter is there. So um, yes, as I said, learn from me. Make sure you put a container there. And because um, if you're working on your nice um, driveway, that's what's going to happen very possibly. Also, the other thing is, um, you could remove this cover because I need to remove this cover anyway now to drain the oil um, you could remove this cover and then put your pan underneath and then open the filter and that's going to catch the oil that's gonna drop from that filter because um, otherwise this is what's going to happen and then you have to clean that and if you haven't got anything there, you're gonna have to clean that too. Luckily, I have uh, some cardboard just there um, and it will just absorb itself, although I'll have to clean it a little bit anyway. Um, anyway, now that we learned something, um, what not to do, uh, make sure now we need to um, remove this tray here. So we have some eight mil bolts all along there and I'm going to remove those and get this tray out. So, tray's out down there. As you can see, I have to clean it. Um, now we have the sump exposed. So, so you're definitely gonna need something like this to catch your oil. And um, you are gonna need one of these tools as well. That is like a square drive there. It's, it's not your typical 
13 mil bolt so this is an 8 millimeter square drive there so now we need to open this hopefully I can do it with one hand <laughs> okay crack that open and let's drain this oil I think there's a washer there as well Just get this out. Okay, so the washer came out as well. We may want to replace that. Right, just gonna let that drain now. Okay, I'm ready to fit this back. Um, I had a look at the the washer here. The washer is actually in good conditions, um, so I don't need. I won't be replacing it this time. Um, I left this dripping for about 20 minutes. So that's about enough time. And uh, these bolts um, can get tight into up to up to 30 newton meters. It just depends on the car. I haven't really got the official um, newton meter figure, but uh, it's between normally between 20 and 30 newton meters. But just Basically, just don't over tighten it because uh, I won't be using a torque wrench. I'll just use my ratchet here, close it a little bit like that. Don't want to damage the thread, or you don't want to damage the sump either. That would be tragic. <laughs> so, just make sure you tighten it um, either to the torque setting of 20 newton meters or so but um if you feel this is uh if you if you notice any leaks obviously you can tighten it a little bit more um ideally you want to save damaging anything you don't want to damage anything so that's the most important and also we're gonna give the area a little clean if i find the uh the figure i'll put it on the video so then you know and also you may notice there's some oil here from what was dripping from the oil filter so we can just uh, clean that area as well just make sure because uh, when the car gets hot that oil will start dripping um, so just try and clean whatever areas you think you may need to clean um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and also fit the cover back here and then we can lower the car and put some oil in it okay got the car down and uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on this rubber ring here so it will help accommodate this o-ring a little bit better around the area where it sits so you can put a little bit of the oil that you're going to use as well or something like that so let's get this back in there now it shows you here as well put a little bit of oil on the o-ring there and also hand tight this filter it says they're 20 newton meters so that isn't a lot of force um, so if you do it by hand, you won't have any problems. Just don't use a tool, because if you use a tool, you will over tighten it. So, just use your hand and get that tight. And that's it. And now we can take this out. And we're gonna top up some oil in there. So if we have a look at the dipstick here, you may notice that we have a minimum mark and another little line there showing you the max. So I'll just change the oil. We wanna be 
around the max area here. Now um, I put nearly four and a half liters, just need a little bit more in there. You need to put it in quite slowly as well. So you don't overfill it. And also this doesn't overfill because it gets quite full quite quickly. Right. I think that should be just about enough. Now, if I check the oil now, If I check the oil now, it will probably be showing a little bit above the max area. That's just because um, once we get the car running, some of the oil will go into the filter. But until that happens, this will most likely be above the max. So. You can see there's plenty of oil in there just gonna get the car running now and make sure everything is running okay okay so no lights here, no oil pressure lights, no nothing here. And everything is running, the engine is running fine, so... You can, um, if you wanted to, you can run the car for a little while, switch it off, let it rest, and then check your oil quantities. Um, to make sure you're at the max but um, apart from that that's pretty much it so having said all of that I hope this video helps don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video so thank you for watching and don't forget to put your cover back on which is the last thing here that cover just flags back in there